What's up, D-Buds? What's up, d -Vos? Your girl is back. I have not recorded a video in like a minute. Probably like two weeks almost, or maybe not even that long, but seriously, a minute, okay? I have tried to record this video yesterday, but you know, I just had a lot going on yesterday. And when I did try to sit down and do this video, my whole vibe, my whole feng shui was like, totally off so i just was like you know what i'm just not gonna i'm just going to take my makeup off and just just go about my business so that's what i did yesterday i did get get it together so i hope you all are having like a great day an amazing week freaking hot as hell out here in arizona seven years here um and yeah 116 117 110 12 it don't make a difference if it's past 100 girl at least it's dry heat but it, it is hot and i think that's a lot of reasons why i haven't really been recording like that because it's just hot but we're gonna start this video off with it's super cheap dumb cheap i've already worked with this company like twice i think but they have like some really inexpensive wigs on a scale of one to ten i would give them like a seven or seven and a half listen the hair is inexpensive when it's really inexpensive don't think you get a beyonce type hair Yana type hair. Whatever celebrity type hair you're not getting that. Here's the main thing, like for real, you guys, if you know how to take care of your wig or your own natural hair, condition it, wash it properly, you know what I'm saying? Then your wig will last much longer. If you're one of those who just take it off at night and just toss it whatever, don't brush it out. Don't put it on a nice little styrofoam mannequin head or a regular mannequin head or just somewhere where it's going to be kept safe and it's not going to last for you. It don't even matter how much you pay for the wig. If you just ragtag it and it's going to look like raggedy and hair, okay? Okay. That being said, Miss Lynn sent me one of their 360 lace frontals. This one is 22 inches. And with this company, you can choose different type of hair textures like Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian. You can change the density from 150 to 180. They also have many different lengths. For this one to be 22 inches, hunties, and one, I think it's 150. I could be wrong, but I'm 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 pretty sure it's 150. It's $180. $180. For 22 inch 360 lace frontal. Some might say that's a little bit steep for them. You can definitely check around. Um, of course, there are other places that you could get which cheaper. When they are cheaper, like you know what I'm saying, when they really cheap, then you definitely gonna have to do some work to the wig over time sometimes. Okay. I did have to bleach the knots and I did pre-pluck the hairline. Even if it's expensive and it comes pre-bleached and and thins out, a girl's still gonna do her own thing. I probably won't have to go as hard. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be going extra hard, okay? So this is what it looks like after I washed it. I washed this with the absorber conditioner and I used the thermal kit. It's like a hair dryer for us, but for just wigs, girl, I would definitely do a whole video because I have a wig that is my favorite that I definitely want to revive and rekindle our relationship with. Like seriously, this wig that I'm going to do this tutorial on of how to revive your wig is like one of my favorites and I, and I need to rekindle the relationship with it. Meaning I need to put this wig on, girl. It'd be making me feel my best next to like them headband wigs, girl. Let me tell y'all. Okay. So we're just going to jump right into this and I'm going to let you guys see how your wig comes. Okay. When you receive your unit from Miss Lynn Hair, you will receive it in a clear plastic bag storage. You'll also receive the amenities of some strip lashes and an elastic band, which you can sew on your unit if you prefer it to be a little more snug. The unit that I received is a 22 inch, 150% density, 360 lace frontal. This is virgin hair and is in the origin Malaysian. This is a loose wave texture and can also be customized to different origins such as Brazilian, Peruvian, and Malaysian. There are also different lengths available as well as density. And as you can tell by the frontal, 
you will need to bleach the knots if you prefer a more realistic scalp-like appearance. I went ahead and allowed the bleach to sit on my unit for about 45 minutes and I did use a 30 volume developer. I'll leave the information down below for Miss Lynn's hair as they have many affordable units for everyone. Alright you guys, so we're going to jump right into this. I forgot to sew an elastic band in it. I'm going to just see how this flows without one. Yeah honey, what are you doing? In the backyard, hanging out? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and play. Are you behaving? Minding your manners? Uh-huh. Okay. You behave, okay? Yes, my mommy. Okay. Who? He's at work. He'll be home in a little while. So I ain't going to talk too long, you guys, but I just wanted to point out a few things as I go on. Of course, I'm going to let you guys listen to some music, but it's really important to clean your hairline before applying a wig, especially if you're going to adhere it with any type of glue, tape, or hairspray. I did clean mine with an alcohol wipe, and this lace was a little bit difficult to apply or to adhere, rather. It just didn't seem like it wanted to stick down. And sometimes you will notice that with more uh, or less expensive lace fronts. I've noticed that in my tr my times here on YouTube that some lace just doesn't stick down as others would. And it could be the quality of the lace. It could be the thickness. It could be a whole lot of things. But just know this. Make sure you clean your hairline off, girl. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and take it from here. And I'll see you guys when I'm done with this entire styling process. Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do And I spent my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight But you didn't know me All you wanted that was a game to play And you couldn't handle But I had my ways I found your mind tricks And your side tricks I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this It's a part of the game the beginning I just didn't know That you're an enemy I held too close Now I know Cause you did everything to prove me wrong You were not the guy I thought Now I'm be beating you at your own Yeah If I got a dollar for Every time you slammed the door I would be the richest girl alive but you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle, but I had my ways I found your mind tricks and your side tricks I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game Yeah, I beat you at your game And if you were me you would do the same Man, I really love to play And now that I won Then it's safe to say But you didn't want me All you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle That I had my ways Around your mind tricks And your side tricks I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win it's a part of the game And you didn't want me All you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle But I had no way I found your mind tricks And your side tricks I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this It's a part of the game Baby, do you 
believe me When I say I miss you so It seems like your mind is elsewhere Whenever we're on the phone Always on the go Like you got a place to be Never on your own Something you're not telling me yet I believe it's true You're all for someone new I've never felt this stupid Thinking I'm enough for you Tell me is she cute? Is she my substitute? I've never felt so certain That I've had enough for you Hey cheetah, do you feel better? Now that you've broken my trust oh, oh, oh. Boy, do you even remember That love is more than just lust Always on the go Like you got a place to be Never on your own Something you're not telling me yet I believe it's true You're all for someone new I've never felt this stupid thinking I'm enough for you Tell me is she cute? Is she my substitute? I've never felt so certain that I've had enough for you I've had enough of you You're just too much I'm way too good for you You're just a bluff I'm so fed up with you It's bad enough But I'm way too good for you You have I believe it's true That you're all for someone new I've never felt this stupid thinking I'm enough for you Tell me is she cute? Is she my substitute? I've never felt so certain that I've had enough for you Setting concrete walls, there's a place for us Where we could go, where we could be alone between city lights, we don't have to hide. I wanna go. The one thing that I'm gonna be, I, I'm listen. I'm gonna just tell y'all, just like this, okay? I wasn't too thrilled with the lace. Like this lace took a little bit more work and more hairspray than I was willing to spray to lay down. Like some of the time, you know what? I've noticed that when the wig is like really inexpensive, really cheap, really affordable, not with every cheap wig, but with some, I have noticed that the lace tends to be a little bit different. And it seems to me like it's a little bit harder to adhere. I always suggest making sure you clean your hairline so that way you remove any type of oils, dirt, makeup whatever so that way it's easier to apply plus if you if you don't clean your hairline and say you have foundation on your hairline then when you spray either hairspray or glue it's going to be like the color of your foundation and that's just gross make sure that you clean that area off but even though i use an alcohol wipe to to clean it off it still did not adhere like how i like it to adhere i'm just putting that out there is that shade but after a couple of spritzes it worked out you just have to take your time with some of these lace wigs that i've noticed the luster of this is like a low luster it's not all shiny and stuff like i said it's 180 dollars for 22 inches for 360 that's really inexpensive i would suggest deep conditioning any wig that you get like for real you don't know where it's been or how it's been treated or how they cleansed it so my personal opinion is make sure that you wash it girl wash it that's what i was thinking especially with the 
a cheap, cheap one because you already gonna have to do work. You're gonna have to bleach them. You're gonna have to sweep up. So you best to get to wash. On a scale of one to 10, like I said, I'm gonna give them like a seven, seven and a half because you know, it's affordable. It's decent. Like the reason why I'm giving it like a seven and a half is because you got to make it yours. Like girl, if you want it to look natural and realistic as possible, you definitely gonna have to put your time and, and your work in. You just have to take care of your wig regardless of how much money you spend on it. Girl, put your time and effort into caring for it as you would your own natural hair because it's not going to care for itself. So on that note, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up as y'all should. And I will see you guys on the next one. Baby, can't you see that? I want to go and I want to know. Do you want to follow?